Uh, well, it's that time again. Welcome to uh, Cracker Jack, Nevada, Desert Trike Flying. It's time to remove the engine for its uh, complete overhaul. You know, on Rotax two cycle engines, the 582 on my Airborne Trike XT, um, you get, eh, you know, Rotax says 300 hours, and uh, some people say you can go as many as 800 hours on how uh, how you take care of it um, I try to take very good care of it um, maintenance it you know weekly I use the very best oil two cycle oil you can get AMS oil in my opinion um, the best premium fuel um, and keep up on everything else do a thorough pre-flight and check everything on your engine to make sure it's all good to go Anyway, I'm at about 680 hours, so I'm up there. Um, I could probably go longer. The engine runs perfect. I've never had an issue, um, never had a, a problem. I do a thorough warm-up before I go fly um, to make sure the engine is up to full operating temperature before I hit the runway to actually take off and get that full throttle. That's where most of your problems happen, uh, when you go to that full throttle for takeoff. Um, just cruising around. You know, 5,000, 4,500 to say 5,500 RPMs. You don't, there aren't that many failures that occur there. It's normally during takeoff, during that full throttle run. So, um, like I said, I've never had an issue, never had a problem. So, but it's time, time to do it. So I'm going to be sending it in to uh, over to Florida. Uh, so over the next uh, couple of weeks, I'll be taking everything off of it and removing it from the trike, and I'll take you along with me. Several parts long video and just speed them up here and there and we'll take the engine off of uh, a 582 off of an airborne trike and get it shipped off to Rotax Ricks R-I-C-K-X um, look them up on the on the internet very knowledgeable place very good reputation does a great job um, very thorough and does sell a lot of other things as well so Rotax Ricks R-I-C-K-S um, so let's get started let's take it off we're going to start, you can see we've got the uh, 582 here, Rotax 582, 65 horsepower. So I've already removed the propeller, uh, so we took that off last week. Very simple, six bolts and nuts, unscrew them take it off, set your propeller aside so that uh, you don't uh, cause any damage. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the wing, get the wing off, get the mast strapped down, and then, um, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the engine. The wing itself, you need to disconnect a few things like the forward mast brace. You need to take the nose cover off so that you don't damage it when you set the nose on the ground. Put some padding down. Uh, I've got some foam to put down for the aluminum tubing for the uh, the main mast. Um, I've got some. We've got some connections to take off. We have our um, wire to our to our antenna here for our radio. We'll disconnect that up here. We have the ground cable. We have a separate uh, ground plane cable to come off. We'll disconnect that. Um, that'll allow us to have free reign of once we do get it down to be able to disconnect the heart bolt and get the mass disconnected from the wing itself. Then we'll back it up some and we'll move forward with the engine. During this, during this overhaul, while the engine's out, I'm gonna do a variety of upgrades. I've got a new battery, a couple of new instruments. I'm gonna do some new wiring. Um, we've got a Tundra kit. We're gonna install a Tundra kit on the track. Much wider tires, take off the spats, um, new shocks, new braces. Um, we will um, be painting it blue again, but it'll be a slightly different color blue. And uh, we'll be adding a brace up here for the passenger that'll come out the side of the fuselage here of the pod so that the passenger can put its, put its feet there rather around the pilot into the, uh, into the nose. Uh, much easier on the side, so we're going to do that. So we've got a variety of things that we're going to add to it and add to the instrument. Move the clock. 
I'll go over that step by step as we do these videos. This first one, we're just gonna get the mast off and maybe, maybe, if I got time, start working on the engine. Um, as you see with the engine here, you've got the exhaust to remove, you've gotta drain the fluids, the gearbox, this is a, an e-gearbox we'll be removing. Um, drain the oil, this is the two cycle oil, drain that. We'll drain the radiator, get all the coolant out, um, expansion tank, um, and, uh, and then we'll be ready to actually remove the electrical from the engine, the sensors, and the, the magnetos, and, and so, so forth. We'll take off the air box, the carburetors, we'll package them separately. At that point, we should be able, we have just four bolts left, we'll be able to remove the, those. And I've got an engine lift over here, we'll be able to lift the engine and place it into a, uh, a shipping container, specially packed up in order to, uh, to send it off to Florida. We're out in Nevada, remember, so. All right, so let's get started. Strobe wire. BNC cable for our radio. And our ground cable. You always drop something. Or maybe not you, but I do. Forward mast, wing nut, put our safety pin back in. Again, try and put all your nuts, bolts, screws, washers, everything you take off back where it came from. That way you don't lose anything. ports down here for our wheels. These keep the, the wheels in this little, little dolly I've made here. We didn't want that to interact with this 172 that needs to be rebuilt. Lots, lots of work to do here for this 172. It's all taken apart, ready 
for a rebuild. Okay. Okay, so we've got the wing off now. No damage, nothing snapped, nothing popped. Everything came off pretty easy. Textbook, right by the book. Uh, reverse of installing it. So at this point, now we're ready to start taking apart the engine. So that part one of this video was getting the wing off. And as you see, you need, this was just doing it by myself out here in a small hangar. You can do it by yourself. You just gotta take it slow and easy and tweak every little nut, screw, and bolt to make sure, double, triple check everything to make sure it comes off smoothly. And it will come off smoothly. All right, I'll see you in part two. Thanks for joining Cracker Jack.